Hi friends, uh, today we will uh, discuss about the importance of uh, material master and what are the views available in material master and how to configure those material types and uh, what is material group and what is material and also we will discuss about the different views in material master and how it will be useful in the regular business activities and then we will go to configuration and where we create the material type and uh, how to do the material group and also how to create a material okay today we will uh, discuss these topics as per the topics uh, just I uh, will give you a brief overview what is uh, material master and how the hierarchy will be there the hierarchy wise uh, we have um, the first is material material type is the first place in, a, in that hierarchy it, it will be in the top and then uh, we have uh, material group material group will come under that uh, material type material group and the finally we have the material the material will be like uh, what we what we do what we see when you buy a material when you buy any product all those things come under the material the material type it will uh, have a role of uh, what are the views required for the it will for example the first i will write the hierarchy here and then uh, we will go to the individual component okay this is the hierarchy the material type material group and then the finally the material the material type uh, it will have a lot of uh, impacts for example how a material type will impact on a uh, material master the first thing is the material type will play the role to get uh, views list of views of material for respect to material what are the views are uh, allowed the views i will explain you we have uh, in material we have different views like uh, sales view basic view sales view accounting view mrp view the each view will contain the data which is required for the respect to transactions for example the data which we use in sales view it will be useful when we do the sales activities and when you do create a sales order and all those sales activities the data which is available in purchasing view it will be useful when you do the purchasing when you create a PO and when you do the purchasing activities that data in purchasing view will be useful accounting view will have the link with the finance module and also it contains the price of the material okay this is a list of view. what are the views are uh, eligible or allowed for that material type that we can control and also screen layout screen layout of material for example which field you want to have a as an optional field which field you want to have as a mandatory all these things will be controlled at material type level okay screen layout and uh, material type and also the price what kind of price control price control we have a whether uh, it should be a moving average price or a standard price that also we can control at the material type level and also whether it is an external or internal procurement the respect to materials are eligible for a external and internal or for both that also will be decided by the material type at material type level we can uh, maintain those details also okay this is the important uh, use of uh, material type and then coming to material group 
the material type is a configuration where we create that uh, material type and all that we will decide uh, that we will learn once we go to the configuration the next level is material group the use of material group it's a grouping of materials it will be useful for uh, it will be like uh, we can say grouping of materials grouping of materials it will be useful for you when you are reporting purpose it will be useful for uh, report for getting better reports for example how we are uh, keeping that uh, reports uh, for material group wise what are the materials comes under the material group and also when we have account determination account determination can be done with material group when we don't use master data there are certain cases in uh, sap where you don't have to create the material or you don't have to create the services at that point of time we can use the material group to assign to the validation class and it will be linking it will be useful to integrate with fi module that is a, one of the uses of a material group and i have to tell this material group is a configuration activity and material group won't be assigned with any of other parameters in the configuration we use only the material group any of the other organization elements or any other material type kind of thing it will be only assigned to the material when we create in sap access sap is access means it's a master data when you create a master data only the material group will be assigned to material master okay the last one uh, this we know the material okay this material is having the final uh, thing like material we are using the product all the products items items or products etc in any type of industry will be treated as a material material will be used used to track the stock and also it will be useful to integrate with finance because we maintain the price everything at the uh, what you call we, we everything we maintain in the material right that's why there is a valuation class will be directly assigned to the material master that's why it will be useful to assign directly and also assign directly to finance module how we are integrating and also one more use is the material we have a stock if you want to maintain a stock we should have a material and this material contains the information that is the important uh, word like uh, material contains contains the information about purchasing sales accounting warehouse etc see this material contains the details of uh, purchasing related data sales related data accounting and warehouse many details can be captured in the material master the material master will be used when we procure the materials and issue the goods and all we use for procurement activities and also we use for sales activities because of the different uses for a material this material is having a different views 
which will capture the details of uh, respective functionalities purchasing sales and uh, buy, buying and selling when you do the buying and selling we have accounting details these all details will be captured in the material for your understanding i will just give you some examples uh, for material type we have uh, finp finished goods FNP is the standard uh, material type code given by SAP. Finished goods, so we know that one. And uh, HALB, this is a uh, semi finished goods. And the most important is ROH. ROH is raw materials. The finished goods we know uh, when a company is producing a material like uh, a soap was manufactured the soap which is going to market and which will be sold by the company that will be decided as a finished goods the semi finished goods is kind of uh, additive kind of products intermediate products you know you can say if you talk about the business kind of thing the intermediate products for example the semi finished goods will be used as an ingredient when you manufacture a finished product but this semi-finished good will be prepared by the combination of two or three raw materials or five or raw, raw materials means it's an intermediate product which will be used as an ingredient when you prepare the finished goods sometimes the semi-finished goods also will be sold to different uh, other customers because they don't want to prepare the semi-finished good at that place and they will directly buy from other vendor and they will use as an ingredient for example when you take a food industry or this uh, paneer or uh, certain kind of ready-made mixers these all are kind of thing which won't be directly consumed and we can consume directly consumed but that will be used as an ingredient for making the finished product that's why that word is used as semi-finished okay the final thing is raw materials the raw materials are each material which we use for a manufacture or which we use for our regular activities this all kind of materials we can treat it as a raw materials this will be the base material type which we use for uh, our activities and all okay this is the about uh, material type and the material group will be I told you like a grouping of uh, materials for example uh, cement liquid chemicals powders and also different like uh, hiring utilities utilities and courier services for example courier if you, when you come to this material group is only will be acting as a service group also the same configuration both for both of them the configuration will be same for example if you want to do a different courier thing then we can create one group as a courier under that courier we will get the material courier and um, you material courier or any uh, kind of uh, goods and also some kind of way uh, items will be shipped to one place to another place this all comes under that each material kind of thing for example the liquid chemicals HTSO4, HCL, uh, HTSO4 20% HTSO4 10% all kind of things will come under that then it is a metal group which is cement cement 53 grade, cement 43 grade, cement 52 grade like that different grades will be there that respect to grade will be treated as a material and the grouping will be called as material group okay the finally an example this example uh, I will give you for material I know we can give anything like uh, cement 53 grade for the cement example H2SO4 20% concentration you can say anything like a uh, pen bulb bolt 
whatever if all these things whatever we buy the materials we call it as a, everything will be called it as a material but this is about an exam uh, brief explanation about what is material type and what is material group material type is the higher hierarchy in that material master and the material group will be followed and then the material master is the final thing okay now i will just explain uh, what are the views available and uh, then we will go to the configuration see this is the master data the material master uh, where uh, we have uh, maintained the details like uh, see for example this um, inventory quality module quality view purchasing view and also the sales view the basic view now we will just let you know that like, uh, we will just understand what are the important fields and how those will be useful okay see these are the different uh, views available in a material master or uh, the basic data classification mrp purchasing sales and the stories and accounting See, if you have a quality management, for example, when it comes to uh, what you call uh, process industries, the quality module will play the role. And when it comes to uh, normal retail and all, the quality module is not having much role, but yeah, there it will be purchasing, MRP, sales, views will play the role. Okay. Okay, first we will go to uh, different views, important views, then uh, we'll have this. See, this is the overall uh, thing, like uh, what are the different uh, views available in a material master. Okay, these are the different views, like basic view, classification, the sales organization, see the sales organization details, and e MRP, the plan data stories the costing view will come when we have a standard uh, price the accounting view these are the different uh, views which we have uh, importance in the material master the basic view is at uh, client level means uh, we, when you have a material for example if you have a 10 company codes and some 50 plants all are using that material if you use that material code, then the description, whatever the details available in basic view will be similar, means it is at client level. If you change certain data, it will be applicable to all the company codes and plans under that client. Okay. See, the basic view contains the details like uh, material description, the description of the material. For example, if you take a uh, laptop, that laptop uh, 15 inches that with respect to model we can give as a material description see here the LCD TV LCD TV 40 inches this can be maintained in various languages also the unit of measure in which unit of measure uh, you want to uh, deal for example if it is a laptop it will be each and if it is uh, petrol it will be liter okay if it is uh, certain kind of a cement it will be a kg okay according to that the base unit of measure will be decided and then we have a division uh, the division for the material or uh, you could create divisions like different kind of divisions like finished goods trading other material it can have a different kind of division uh, which will be useful for divide the material as per their uh, uses or as per their the material types okay and also we can have the gross weight and net weight sometimes of the materials will be gross weight will be 100 but the net weight will be 980 at that point of time this uh, gross weight and the net weight will be used to useful for for us to maintain if you maintain in this material master Okay, this is the screen of um, basic data. Uh, here we can see the details like uh, 
the base unit of measure, the division, and the gross weight and net weight. I told you right that the gross weight and net weight we can give. This generally the weight unit will be the kg, pound, whatever that weight related uh, unit we can give as a weight unit. And also we have one material group. See, this is the field uh, where we give the our material group. Okay. This is about the basic data. Uh, we have important fields like base unit of measurement, material group, and this gross weight and weight unit. Okay. This general item category group will decide what kind of item it is. Now we'll go to the next view called uh, classification. Uh, this classification will be useful. For example, we may generally use these two important. One is the material class 001 and uh, the batch 023. So when, when you use the material class 001, for example, if you take a chemical, okay, the uh, KMNO4, the potassium permanganate, or any one chemical product, you want to create a material. By using this classification view, we can maintain the properties of the material. Okay, what kind of properties? If you say like uh, the classification view, the materials, uh, uh, if we have a material of a potassium permanganate, what is the color? What is the state? It's liquid or solid or a powder or semi-liquid. And uh, what is the order? Order means the smell. And also any other properties like what is the non volatile matter, any other chemical properties, if you want to capture, we can use that double uh, zero one and we have to maintain the data. If it is a batch, then batch is a separate concept that also we can maintain for a material here in the classification view. See, this is the classification view where we maintain a class and that see the color is black and what is the dimension is 40 inches. Okay, these kind of uh, dimensions you can maintain. For example, the laptop, 15 inches, 14 inches, 20 inches, or 10 inches, how many inches we have, like we can create a different materials. Okay. The next view is uh, sales organization. The sales organization view contains the details related to the sales organization and this will be having a role when you do the sales activities. Okay. This organization levels how we select and all. Uh, I will explain you when you create a material. Uh, we have mainly uh, plant storage location and uh, sales organization and distribution channel. These are the important uh, organization levels which will be useful uh, when you maintain when uh, which are required to maintain uh, material master. We can maintain at these levels. If you activate the warehouse management, we will get an additional call the warehouse number and warehouse type, storage type. These details also will be visible. For the sales organization data, the direct responsible will be uh, sales SD consultant. Uh, he needs what kind of data he requires, how, where will they use this material and all according to that they will decide it. See here the tax, uh, tax categories like we have in output tax, right, when you do the sales activities whether it is a full tax or 50% tax or nil tax, these kind of things will be uh, maintained for a material in the material master. For example, if there is a tax of 100, if you give full tax here, then it will be 100 will be charged. If there is a 50% because sometimes uh, the vendor, uh, the customer who is buying the material, uh, then uh, when you sell the goods, then we can have a different kind of uh, materials will have different kind of taxation. For example, 50 percent is only they have to pay or nil tax. According to the agreement and according to the age of the company, that kind of uh, tax benefits we use to provide.
see these are the uh, different things like the material statistics group uh, this is an indicator used to specify if the material is to be included in statistical transaction in SD module MCS we just uh, mention like whether this material material is eligible for doing that activity if you don't want to use then the material statistic group can be left as a blank the general item group uh, as I explained to you that standard item or third-party item those things we can decide here and we have a concept called product hierarchy that will be used in the production planning and all uh, like uh, see that this hierarchy is used for reporting purposes so that the sales management can analyze sales data based on this hierarchy it consists of two levels uh, this is the hierarchy product, where the product hierarchy is a separate concept uh, there it we can get an uh, idea what kind of product hierarchy and all okay and this other uh, view important views in sales is uh, that uh, transportation group and loading group how you are transported that what kind of, that one and also where we load the goods and all and this availability check uh, availability check like when you uh, check for a requirements whether it should be individual requirements or collective requirement the requirement planning the in MRP the use of uh, availability check is important okay we can write some text in sales text and also purchasing text if that message will be uh, visible in the respect to document sales order purchase order how we can uh, copy this text data to the doc that uh, respective document okay the final the important uh, one more view is the MRP the MRP means material requirement planning according to the requirement the system will create the purchase acquisitions or planned order automatically if it is an external generate will create uh, if you see that uh, different fields we have like um, a MRP type lot size and MRP controller see the MRP type will have like uh, these are the various MRP types we have uh, which will decide what kind of uh, MRP procedure for example reader point planning if you keep there are the two automatic and manual there will be certain uh, safety point we keep and when the stock comes to below that and when you run MRP automatically a document will be generated the purchase requisition or planned order if it is an external it's a planned order purchase requisition if it is an internal planned order will be generated the MRP controller this MRP controller uh, is a person who is responsible for that MRP activities and they are coming to lot size uh, it will uh, decide like when you run the MRP whether we have to take the individual requirements or uh, uh, what um, what type of uh, lot for lot order size how the lot size of the material will be decided according to the input which we give in the material master see that uh, reorder point I have just now I have explained right the reorder point indicates at a which stock level MRP should create a new order see that will decide when the stock comes below the reorder point system will create that external document automatically and this is MRP2 view or oh, here we maintain like this procurement type it will decide whether it is an external or internal when there is an external project requirement they won't if you say that uh, external uh, procurement and internal if it is external procurement we order from uh, purchase uh, procurement process we create that PO and we order the materials and all if it is an internal procurement it's a production we just uh, produce the materials in our in-house 
the production order or process order will be created. Here we can control. See this uh, production storage location. If you are using the internal, then we have to give the production storage location. If you are using external, then we have to give the storage location for EP. EP means external procurement. Okay, the GR processing time meter, how many days will take for processing GR and all will be decided. See here the definitions were given, like the procurement. Uh, here you can choose if you may material as internal production or external procurement, or both types are allowed. Like if you want to allow the material, sometimes you produce, sometimes you buy from out. Then we can select the option of both are allowed. And this the dealing margin key, uh, this is uh, also will play the role when you use this MRP procedure, like uh, this represents, see, this represents a key used for determination of the floats required for scheduling an order. Okay, how, uh, when you do that external procurement uh, and all, the schedule margin key will play the role. With this MRP uh, 3 view, we have uh, different per strategy group and consumption mode, the mixed MRP. Uh, these are the, um, if you are using more MRP, then uh, these MRP fields will give you the impact in the MRP processes. And coming to another important view is uh, plant data storage one view. This plant data storage one view, we capture the details like uh, for respect to material, for example, if you are keeping a material which should be 20 degrees and all. In material master itself, we can control what kind of uh, temperature conditions and what kind of storage conditions are required for the material. The temperature conditions means you can maintain like below 10 degrees, below 20 degrees, just that material should be stored. The storage conditions, you see whether the storage conditions will be uh, dry area or uh, it should be a walking where outside air should not go. This kind of requirement according to that the storage will be decided. And also this container requirements. The container should be only glass container. It should not contain any iron kind of thing. Certain materials will have those requirements. Those all we can maintain in the material master that will be useful for the processes which we do in the future. Okay. Here this in this plant data storage one view or uh, we have an important fields like uh, this minimum re remaining shelf life and the total shelf life. The use of this data is, for example, uh, when you keep the remaining minimum remaining shelf life, uh, you kept as a hundred. When you receive the goods, the material should have at least hundred remaining shelf life. Otherwise, system will throw an error when you receive the goods. That much control will be there for this field. Minimum remaining shelf life means, for example, a product is having the expiry of six months. For example, uh, when you if you manufacture today, next six months it will be valid. When you buy the goods, if the material has already four months back, it was uh, manufactured. When you receive the goods, the remaining days will be, for example, the total shelf life is 180 days. You kept as a minimum remaining shelf life, you kept as a 100. When you receive the goods, system should have, so system should automatically system will calculate and uh, see that one whether it is within 100 or not. For example, you should have 100 or more than 100. If it is having 95, 98, then system will throw an error. The remaining shelf life is not matching because uh, it should have at least 100. Why do you keep such type of control? For example, if the material is having at least 100 days, if you use after one month or two months or two and a half months also that material will be valid. If you don't keep that control, when a product is received itself, the total shelf life is 180 days. But when you receive the goods, 
the tor it is having just 30 days validity in this 30 days if you don't use that material will be expired right that's why to stop that kind of uh, things we can use this minimum remaining self life uh, concept okay see like this for example total self life is 180 days if you keep as minimum remaining shelf life as 100 days means whenever you receive the goods the goods should have the age of 80 days or less than 80 days it should not be more than 80 if it is more than 80 then the remaining minimum remaining shelf life will be 98 95 and all system will throw error because system will allow you to do the goods is it if the remaining minimum remaining shelf life is either 100 or more than 100 means finally the purpose of keeping this one is we can get the materials which are having more validity date if you have a more validity date because of certain purposes if you don't use the material within the short time then also that material will be with better validity at our warehouse okay this is the warehouse management view or uh, where we maintain the what kind of WM unit and uh, the different strategies like when you use that uh, what kind of uh, data we can capture in the warehouse management uh, all those fields will be explained here if you have a quality management uh, there we can see like uh, goods issue inspection we have different kind of inspections or when you do the goods received what kind of inspection when you buy the external you know, that inspections everything will be available in quality management view finally the important uh, field we have uh, accounting uh, see in this accounting you can see that the valuation class right this valuation class will be acting as a bridge between mm and fi uh, when a material is buying how automatically the backend GL accounts everything will be because of this valuation class and the price control uh, we have a uh, two types of uh, price controls so uh, one is uh, standard and another one is moving average price the standard price we generally give to the finished goods and moving average price will be for raw materials raw materials consumables and all how for example you are manufacturing a soap Lyril then they decide the market price of 100 grams as a 20 bucks or 30 bucks then that cost will be remained for at least 6 months or 8 months or 5 months there will be a long time for that but when it comes to raw materials the raw materials will be keep on vary or the price will be today 100 and tomorrow it may be 120 tomorrow frequently changes that's why it will be moving frequently that's why we will give as a moving average price when it comes to moving average price any price changes will happen that will be generally load down material except in certain cases but in case of uh, standard price it will be always the material master price will play the role and the remaining differences will go to price difference account there is a calculation also for this uh, for example when it is a standard price material master price will play the role and any differences in the price from material price will be loaded on price difference account in for example a material price is uh, maintained as uh, standard price is maintained as 100 okay 
then if you are creating a PO with 120 or 110 because of certain reasons, then the 10 or 20 bucks will be loaded on price difference account. But system will always, the material price will be loaded on the price which is given in the material must. The moving average price, uh, it will be calculated. Moving average price will be see the differences in the price will be loaded on material. For example, the price is 100, but you added for uh, 110 or you have given some additional charges and all. The additional charges also will be loaded on directly material. Only in a specific case, the price difference account will come. Or uh, that case like uh, you have received the goods and uh, before invoice verification, you have consumed the goods. In very, uh, some specific cases, uh, at that point of time only the price difference will come. Otherwise, always the differences will be loaded on material. The loading of price uh, also there is a calculation MAP equal to total value of the material divided by total quantity. For example, a material is having a price of uh, 100. Otherwise, I will tell you like first you have ordered 10 quantity for 200 then we have ordered 10 quantity for 250 okay then the moving average price will be 200 plus 250 divided by 10 plus 10 equals to 450 by 20 it will be 22.5 okay here the MAP is twenty and uh, here the MAP is twenty five but the final MAP will be twenty two point five because system will take it as a average total value by total quantity there is a costing view or that costing view will be used uh, when you have a material as a standard price uh, in SAP we have a separate module called costing it's a controlling module it will deal about this uh, standard price and how to run the costing run the maintaining of uh, standard price and also the controlling objects everything will be handled by the costing module okay and also we have an additional option called uh, additional data in basic view I will show you when we create the material there we can maintain the different languages in the material description you can maintain the different languages and also we can maintain different unit of measurement if you want to convert for example one box each both we can order always we order with each but uh, the stock we maintain in each but sometimes we order with the box then we have to write like one box equals to 10 quantity those things and all we can maintain in this uh, unit of measure views that I will show you when we create the material see this is the thing like one pallet equals to 12 pieces okay this is about the uh, important uh, views of a material master uh, and uh, how the each view will be affected and how it will be useful in the business okay now we will go to the configuration the configuration wise we have an important activity the first one is uh, define material types 
then uh, number ranges we have to give the number ranges to the material type and then finally we have a field selection the field selection will group uh, will decide you like uh, what kind of uh, screen layout that's a field selection means the which field will be mandatory and which field will be optional uh, all these details will be done here okay now we'll go to sap This is the logon tag. The configuration will be done in SPRO or this is the IMG product where we do the configurations. The material master configuration uh, will be available in uh, logistic general where we do the, our uh, configuration of our material master, this number ranges, all activities will be done there. Okay. You have to go to logistics general. Then go to material master. Then go to this basic settings. Then material types. We have come to logistic general, then material master, then basic settings, and then material types. Once we come to material types, we have uh, defined attributes of material types. This is where we define our material type. The transaction code also we can directly go with uh, OMS2. In this OMS2, we can directly come to that uh, configuration path uh, without going all those things also. Here uh, SAP provides that uh, as I mentioned you like uh, standard material types are provided by SAP. We have to use that uh, standard material type and according to our requirement we copy it and we create in the system. Okay. See, these are the different uh, material types are given by SAP. FERT is a finished product. CHLB semi-finish. And ROH raw material. Like that, we have a different types of standard material types. According to business requirement, when you create a new material type, you have to select which material type is suitable or similar to your business requirement. As per the requirement, we need to select it and then we have to do that. Okay. Now we will uh, select the term ROH. When you create a new material type, you have to select that uh, existing material type and click on this copy icon. As soon as you copy, the uh, system will show the screen of uh, ROH because we are copying from the standard material type. Here you have to give what kind of uh, name you want to give, for example GKRM. raw material for test. I will show you like uh, what is this field reference group that we will uh, learn in the in coming few minutes. How the field reference will be there. And also as I mentioned you like uh, here we can decide which material views you want which you don't want that also we can decide at the material type level. Okay, you can select which material type views are required. 
see which material of uh, use required which you don't want uh, you can ignore those okay thing if you want whatever the use required you select those things and remaining things you can keep it as a blank and then I mentioned you like external and internal see here if you open here external purchase orders we have a different options like C if you select 0 no external purchase orders allowed if you select 1 external purchase orders allowed but warning will be given by the system if you select 2 always you can use the external purchase orders this internal purchase orders as I mentioned you like uh, the in-house production or whether it is allowed or not and then coming to this price control we can decide whether it is a moving average price or uh, standard price that we can decide here the second category reference uh, will play the role when we do the automatic account determination I will explain you in detail uh, when it comes to account category reference because uh, account category reference will play the role to get the respect to valuation classes when you create a material master for that material type. This is the creation we just need to copy we have to select the list of required views and then click enter system is automatically copy see the entries how many entries are copied it is shown by the system this is the material type we have created select it and go to details then you can see our uh, material type what options we have selected and all okay. come back and select our material type and here there is an option called quantity or value updating just double click on that this quantity and value update we should uh, select according to the requirement for our valuation area for example in this case if our valuation area is 1000 and uh, our material type is GKRM we need to ensure whether the quantity and value update for a normal stockable materials we maintain both quantity and value if you don't have this quantity and value updation here you cannot see the quantity of the material in the stock if you don't have a value updation you won't see the value for example if it is a non-stock materials we don't select this quantity if it is a non-value material we don't select this value updation for the respect to material type okay for all stock materials we need to select both quantity and value updation okay now save when you save the configuration our system will ask you for a transport request if you want to create you can create a new one test material configuration okay just enter then continue this material type was created right that was saved in that configuration the transport request this is the material type creation the same process for finished goods or semi finished goods if you want to create any other material types that thing will be same then coming to define number ranges for each material type in this configuration step we will define the number ranges which number range is required for our material type we have our uh, two kinds of uh, number ranges or uh, number ranges or uh, we have internal and external internal means system will system will propose the next number automatically for example the internal number range you have given as uh, 0 uh, 1 to 10000 
when you create a material of five, then you, when you try to create a new material, system will automatically give the six number. But when it comes to external, you have to give the number range manually. External number range. If you want to have a combination of alphanumeric alpha numeric or only alpha or uh, only alpha alpha means alphabet or number ranges anything we can use but we need to give the material number as input when we create the material Okay, internal system will automatically propose. We don't have to bother about the material numbers. When it is external, here the possibility like for example, you want to have a number like RM, RM the plant is uh, something PT, RM PT 01. Like that if you want to have any customized kind of number range, then uh, we can select, we can go with external. No, I, I want to have a number series like uh, we can give like C. 1001, 1002, 10,003, like that it will be there, the number ranges will be. When it comes to external, uh, we can have a similar one, otherwise we can have like RM PT001, RM PT CN, CN0, like that if you want to have any kind of uh, there the RM means first is raw material, PT is the plant code, CN is the country. Like that if you want to have any type of segregation, uh, then we can go to external number range. Okay. How internal and external will be decided and all that we will decide, discuss now. Okay. This is the number range uh, configuration. Uh, in this we have different groups and all. When you do this configuration, uh, we have to do what kind of groups available and how to maintain the number ranges and all will be here. Okay. See if you just uh, have a look on the groups. Here uh, there are different groups are available. We also have to create one group for our material number. Okay. Okay, now uh, we will create a new number range. Just select ranges. Click on maintain. Okay, here we can maintain the uh, different number ranges, uh, how we maintain and all. Here you can observe this external tick mark. If you have a tick mark that will behave as external, system won't propose you the number, system only will ask you the number. If you don't uh, flag it, then it will be an internal. Okay. Now we will create a new number range. Click on interval. Uh, this is latest uh, system, EHP7, uh, slightly the screen was uh, changed, uh, that uh, you can understand for doing that, uh, just click on these groups, here uh, you can click on this uh, creation, see here you can write a group uh, like um, test GKRM group, okay. The number ranges we can give like uh, what kind of number we have. See the from number uh, we can give as two.
you can select that uh, respective range if there is a repeatability system won't allow you to create that okay enter now save the system is giving like enter with intervals without overlap already that number was available that's why we have to select some other number range Okay. We have to just give the number range uh, which is not overlapping, which is not already available. We have to give the number range and then click on it and save it. Okay. If it is whole system, you will just an option of uh, group maintain. Uh, this is a new screen in EHP 7. Okay. Now we created the group and then we have to go to group and uh, you have to select which group is available and what is our material type see this is our group test JKRM group and where is our material type Just select our uh, material. Our material group is in non-assigned elements. This is our uh, GKRM is our material type, and uh, our group is available at the bottom. Test GKRM group. Okay. First, what you have to do is uh, you have to select the group and click on this element or group. Okay. what is the element uh, this is our element you can double click or you can click on this element okay then system will ask you like uh, what is the group you want to assign okay this is the GKRM group just double click on that okay. then under that our material group material type is assigned now save it this screen is a bit different in the old versions uh, in the latest version uh, this is a newly introduced which is more simpler than earlier now save it and come back now we have defined a number range and we have assigned to our material type now the, in the configuration we have a next option called field selection in this field selection uh, we have a maintain field selection for data screens this is our uh, configuration step before that I will show you what is field selection group and what are the fields are assigned to that field selection group there is a different groupings are available uh, for example different numbers 100 101 102 like that for each group there are four or five fields or two fields are assigned as per the standard system if you want to make the respective group as a mandatory we can keep as a group as a mandatory or optional that's why uh, we can grouping all the mandatory fields in the same group or optional fields in say different groups well, those things we can decide see this is the grouping um, for example this 180 field selection group contains the final price indicator 
184 contains the checkbox for saving sales price conditions and if you see that 190 it's like a number of points and the material number used by the number these are the diff all these fields are assigned to 190 field selection group as per the field selection group level we fix whether it is a mandatory or optional in the configuration okay if you want to change one number to another number for example you want to have this field in the 175 then we need to give the 175 here okay different fields are grouping to one number that number only according to the field selection group level we can keep whether it is a mandatory or optional in our configuration step you will come to know what exactly does it mean the maintain field selection for data screens see here you can see that different field references field reference ROH ROH is assigned there uh, if you want to create a new one, we can create the new one also. The field references. See, this is the ROH we have. This is the field selection group 1. And just now we have seen the 190, right? We can give 190. See, all these 190, these all fields are uh, coming under 190. Here we can see like... Um, for ROH, these all fields are optional and if you take any one field selection 1, see for ROH it's an optional entry and uh, if you keep high, that field won't be visible. If you keep display, you can uh, display the field but you cannot enter. If you have a required entry, without giving that entry, we cannot save the material. And optional, you can give, otherwise you can ignore. Okay. This is the use of uh, the things. For example, one more uh, speed selection group we will see, 25, optional. Which fields are optional, which fields are uh, mandatory that things we can give for example if you go with by field ref, field uh, selection field reference group we have send ROH only that's why I'm just explaining like that we have uh, each uh, field selection group contains uh, different uh, fields and that fields are op optional or mandatory system will decide for example one field if you want to have as a mandatory then uh, we can select that uh, field selection group and we can select it quantity in GRS but you have to understand one point here um, if you keep the 75 as the required entry then all the fields in that 75 will become mandatory that you have to understand if you want to keep only this field as a mandatory and remaining all are as optional then please move this field to any other mandatory group or you can create a new field selection group but you don't uh, what you call uh, give the required entry then all fields will be mandatory now we will do that one operation. For example, what you are thinking is, we will select uh, some other thing. Okay, this base unit of measure. You want to keep base unit of measure as a mandatory for your re field reference group. Okay, but you don't want this as a mandatory. You want to have only base unit of measure as a mandatory. Then. keep it as a required entry and save okay now what happened the both the fields have become mandatory you want to move this field to any other optional then copy it come back go to assign fields to reference groups 
and um, field name. See, this is the field with one. You can give this as a three. Now save it. Now come back. Maintain field selection data screen. See, now one has become single.